Hi, my name is Bettina, but you can call me Ock, short for Ock Venturer. I love traveling and exploring our world, even if I'm a little awkward. As my favorite quote goes, travel far enough until you meet yourself. Are you ready? Let's go on an adventure. Hey guys, so today we are at the Kyu Furukawa Gardens in Komaga on the JR Tokyo Line. So it runs from April 29 to June 30th. So they have a lot of roses, I think it's like hundreds of different blooms, and they're so beautiful. So we're gonna go take a look around, and I'm currently live streaming, so say hello guys. Everyone says hello. So, yeah! <laughs> Today's adventure features us going to the Kyu Furukawa Gardens. It's a park in Nishigahara Kita, Tokyo. To get here, you'll have to take the JR line and get off Komaga Station. It's about a 7-10 to 10 minute walk from the station. From the end of April to the end of June, a number of roses and other blooms can be found in the gardens. They are open from 9 to 5, last entrance being 4.30, and a one-time adult ticket costs only 150 yen, although they offer yearly passes too. The mansion and grounds were designed by Hosaya Kondor, who is known as the father of Japanese modern architecture, and the Japanese gardens by Ogawa Jihei, a designer of Japanese gardens from Kyoto. The mansion was placed at the top of the hill, the western portion of the garden located on the slope, and on the lower level of the grounds was where the Japanese garden was created. I loved how all the roses were labeled with their name, date, and origin. There were so many different colors that I was overwhelmed by all the roses. I recommend coming on a weekday as there were very few people and I could enjoy the gardens to myself. The Kyufurukawa Gardens was completed in 1919 and is a wonderful example of Japanese style and western style gardens coming together in beautiful harmony. In 1982, the garden was designated as a famous site. The gardens were designated by the national government as a place of scenic beauty in 2006 as an example of a modern period garden that has been extremely well preserved and is a typical example of the gardens of the Taisho period. This is when I lost connection during the live stream and I decided to just take some shots and walk around like a crazy person. They have a restaurant and cafe in the mansion where you can enjoy drinking English tea with the beautiful garden and also some food vendors on the side where they also sell rose ice cream. It was a very grey day, but still very hot. And although I wanted more sunshine, looking back now I can appreciate how the grey sky made all the colors, especially the greens, just pop out so vividly. I love Japanese gardens because they're so relaxing and this one is like not just roses, it's also a nice Japanese garden that's just super peaceful and relaxing and so much nice things. Okay, I'm so embarrassed making videos when you guys are on my shoulder. It's actually... <laughs> Here's a moment from the live stream. Check out my Twitch link in the description below to join the adventure live next time, where I tried to pose for photos and it was a bit awkward. <laughs> Let's take a listen to some of the sounds of the garden. We found some really nice flowers and I want to know what they are. They smell so good. Okunian type garden lantern, Okunoin. I really enjoy checking out this little local area after a stressful work morning. Thank you everyone who joined in the live stream adventure and for all the support. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video.
If you're looking for a nice relaxing garden and you're in the Tokyo JR area, make sure to check out this beautiful spot. Make sure to like, comment below, and I'll see you in the next adventure!